This is how I'm Hi. handling potty training and bottle feeding in the morning. Hi. When you're playing ball with your child, you have two anxious looking dogs who want to play. <laughs> He knows that the dogs want it. She's looking at Lake saying, Do you want this? Uh. Ooh, ah. Ready? No, Link, give it to mom. Give it, drop it. Good boy. So we just got home um, a little while ago. We had our physio appointment today um, for Emmeline. So we just basically went there and did some uh, walking around, which she was not happy to do. So on the way there, I had this idea that popped in my head um, for this vision um, of this app slash website that I was like that's like a multi-million dollar idea and then I like call Richard to uh, tell him about it and to see if he thinks it's like sounds like a great idea uh, which he agrees um, but then the self-doubt pops in <laughs> afterwards so I, I tend to get these like really great ideas every once in a while and to go through with an idea is really hard for me because um, I do let self-doubt come in um, but this idea came in and uh, I don't know I just like I want to be something if I were to ever take on something um, I want to be something that like I'm completely a hundred percent passionate about and behind and believe in um, because I think that's what makes a successful business. Um, but, yeah, I know. I'm, I kind of like, sometimes I, the idea of like, you know, taking a gamble and doing something that you believe in, it sounds really exciting. This is other part of me that is a worrier and, um, you know, worries about not succeeding or falling behind. <laughs> Even more so. <laughs> you silly boy. Um, and so, anyways, I'm just going to look into this idea a little bit more. I really think it's, um, just sounds, you know, it's hard for me to explain because I don't want to give too much away, but it's, um, it's a great idea, I think. I'm just trying to not let, let self-doubt come in because that tends to happen a lot. But, um, Richard already wrote up, like, uh, a document um, of how it would work if he would have created it. That's how amazing my husband is. Um, to be able to do that is uh, it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt to clean up these toys for a moment. <laughs> um, and uh, I'll try to do it as quickly as I can because I'm going to get lunch ready. One thing I discovered yesterday was when I was having Ronan stand up on this toy, Emily came by and just pulled it right from underneath him. Luckily I was holding him, um, but <laughs> I wasn't prepared for it because I f forgot that she just, when she wants a toy, she grabs it toward her, 
So, and he was using it for support, which she didn't realize, so. So, when he's older and can stand by himself, that's going to be a little juggle. So, I hope that she doesn't pull it away from him. Like that. <laughs> this is the great thing with overalls. Um, when you're trying to work on their standing, that's why I put overalls on her today because we went to physio. So it's a place to, to hold. <laughs> what are we going to eat? Huh? What are we going to eat today? Some bananas. I'll give you yours. No. no two. Um, you look at yourself eat. And cauliflower. This is why I hate ketchup. Not, I actually like the taste of ketchup. I like to eat it, but this is why I hate giving it to Emily. Because it doesn't get over her face and hands. It also gets all over her toes. Well, I'm exhausted because I just ran around the whole house taking care of shit. Literally. Um, Navi had shit all over the house. Um, she has like diarrhea or something lately she's been having a lot of diarrhea and i don't know why but it's becoming um frustrating um anyways so uh then the whole time i was dying to pee ronan was awake from his nap screaming for me and then when i got him up he had shit all over the place and he looks like he's a bit of a diaper rash so uh, all in a day's work of cleaning that poo. Um, I'm not sure if like we need to like stop Navi from eating the food off the ground um, when the kids are done eating. Uh, it's been another exhausting day. I feel like we're just doing so much stuff up until the the end, and you know we both know what a lot has to do with this deck. Um, because we can't ever play, um, we, we don't get to do a lot of stuff on the weekend, so we're always playing catch up, um, which on top of everything else is like just exhausting. I find we just have so many appointments lately that it's like, um, it's getting a little bit too much. It's not. It's not too bad. Like I don't normally mind it because it keeps me busy. But lately, I'm just realized like I need like a day where I don't have any obligations. So.